What does a slice of Swiss cheese actually have to do with cybersecurity? I think it's the perfect analogy to a very important cybersecurity strategy called defense in depth. This strategy uses multiple layers of defenses, and you can almost think of them layered on top of each other to protect a system, network, or data. These defenses can be things like hardware or software, such as a firewall or EDR. They can also be processes we put in place, like for example, always segregating networks and not making them flat. Or it could be things like security awareness training that we've provided to users so they don't click on phishing links. This is where our slice of Swiss cheese comes into place because no defensive security measure or tooling is going to work 100% all the time. Like our Swiss cheese, they're all going to have some holes in them. Here's where this analogy comes into play to describe defense in depth. Let's actually think of each of the defenses in an organization as one slice of Swiss cheese. Now let's go over a basic example where we have a user that's clicked on a phishing link. An organization's first line of defense might be that security awareness training that they provided and they hope their users aren't gonna click on a link, but we all know not everyone takes that training and some people still fall for phishing links. So that's the first layer of defense and the first hole in our Swiss cheese. Let's say their second layer of defense is that they have a firewall. Now, unfortunately, in this scenario, that IP hadn't been reported as being malicious. That was hosting the malware, and there was no block rules for this in the firewall, so it actually allowed that connection to take place and the malware to be downloaded. So that's our second layer of Swiss cheese now, where these holes lined up and the actual attack was able to slip through. In this example, our third layer is the EDR, which luckily when this malicious software was downloaded to the computer was immediately picked up and blocked. So there was no hole in this layer. Now, if we were just relying on one of the controls or defenses that were further up in the line in this example, like the security awareness training or the firewall, that wouldn't have been enough. And it's also possible that if we were just relying on the EDR, it may not catch everything as well. So this is where that strategy of defense in depth comes into play in realizing that no defense is going to be perfect all of the time, and we should layer multiple of them on top of each other so that if one fails, hopefully another one prevails. If you're curious to learn more about cybersecurity fundamentals like defense in depth, make sure to check out the Practical Security Fundamentals course on the TCM Security Academy, and also make sure you're subscribed to our channel on YouTube. Oh, that has been left out way too long. Oof.